Ray, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Adobe Color to help you create a beautiful color palette for your website or your brand or whatever it is that you need to make the color palette for. If you go to color.adobe.com, you can use most of the tools on this website for free. I am currently logged into my account. I've got a, and it's a free account. I'm not paying for this uh, and I can use these tools, but the benefit of having the account is that you can save your color palettes to your library. So you can uh, publish them, check them for accessibility and some other really nice tools. So uh, anyway, when you go to the website, the first thing you're gonna see is the color wheel which is what's on my screen right now. And we can see here that the color wheel is gonna show me right now an analogous color palette. And you've got your color harmony rules. So if you want to choose your color, you're gonna start with your base color, which is a color that you've selected based on color psychology, your brand identity. You, you really need to do some research to figure out what your base color is. But what you, once you've got that base color selected, you can then use these color harmony rules to select the rest of the colors for you. So if you know your base color, which I'm just gonna assume my base color is gonna be a sort of dusty pink there, then you can again use these color harmony rules to choose the rest of your colors. So right now I've got analogous for my color harmony rule. This is my dusty pink base color and these are the rest of my colors. I can go to monochromatic, which I like better. Um, but the neat thing about using these color harmony rules is that as you change the color, so if, if I click on this color and try to make it a different color, you can see if I move this around, it keeps them all on that same line because it's, it's all monochromatic. So that means that the line is gonna stay consistent. But if I change my base color, you can see it changes that whole line. If I switch this to triad, then you can see again, if I change one of the colors, it's gonna change the entire palette. So if I say, I want this to be a darker blue, and I want this one to be a little darker too, you can see again, it changes that entire palette. It moves the whole thing around, which is really helpful. But if you, again, if you know your base color, then you can just sort of stick to that base color and go from there. So again, you've got all of these different color harmony rules. You can play around with them. Once you're done, if you if you pick the color palette that you like, I'm gonna go back to monochromatic for mine, uh, and then you can tag it, you can give it a name, and then you can save it to your library for later if you wanted to. Now, another thing that we've got here is that you can check the color palette for accessibility. And again, this does require you to have an account. So if I click on check for accessibility, then it's gonna show me if the, it's gonna, by, by default, it's gonna show me um, if it's colorblind safe. So you can see here, these are all colorblind safe. And you can see I can also go to the contrast checker. And the contrast checker doesn't let me import, uh, it, it lets me import um, a file. So I don't have a file to import right now. I'm not gonna upload anything. Um, but if I know my color values, so if I go back to my color theme, uh, sorry, my color wheel, and I choose, let's say this, uh, we'll use this dark brown. So I'm gonna use that dark brown. I'm gonna go back to the accessibility tools and I'm gonna say I want my text color to be that dark brown. And for the colors, for the background, I'm gonna use this base color here. Let's see what the contrast ratio is for that. We can see that if I was to use that dark brown on that dusty pink, the contrast ratio is 4.31 to one which is not enough contrast for the website, uh, for the um, accessibility guidelines. So we can see we're using WCAG 2.1. Uh, that's a, a guide, set of guidelines for accessibility. Uh, it's using level AA, which is good, but not the best, not the highest level. So if you were to check it at that, you need at least 4.5 to one for the contrast ratio for it to be considered accessible. So if you made this a little bit lighter, you can see now it's at 4.6 to one. That means that it is accessible. Um, and it gives you some suggestions over here. So you can see just by changing the colors a little bit, you can get more contrast. So this, this one's eight to one. Um, and then you can just update your colors in your palette to reflect some of these colors. And that's gonna give you uh, more accessible color contrast, uh, more accessible color palette using that. Now, another thing that we've got in here is trends. 
So the trends tool is really nice. If you want to get your completely stuck, you have no idea what it is that you're doing. Uh, you can look through these different trends here. So we've got fashion, graphic design, illustration, UI, UX, which is probably um, one of the ones that you want to look at, it's the user, user interface, user experience. Uh, so I'm going to start there. I'm going to click on view more to see what the uh, trending UI, UX designs are, colors are, and see if you find one in there. I kind of like this color palette here. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to click over here on create using theme. And that's going to take me into the color wheel again. Notice that it's using a custom color palette. Um, but if you look at the color wheel, it's it's pretty much monochromatic. So um, it's you can see that the, the, they were all on one line. So that's that's why I'm saying it was monochromatic. But let's say that you change it, you tweak it, make it look like what you want. Uh, and then you can, again, save that to your uh, your library to use later on if you need to. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, oh, by the way, the libraries is right there if you wanted to see your libraries. There it is. So there's my library. There's our, those are my two color themes. They're very similar. So anyway, I do hope that you found this useful. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment them and I will be happy to answer. But if you do want to use Adobe Color, remember the URL is color.adobe.com. Thanks for watching.